Hi, welcome to Blind Owl Bushcraft and Survival. Hi, welcome to Blind Owl Bushcraft and Survival. Um, I tried something different here. I made the handle much longer this time, much much deeper. Uh, I was gonna put a palm swell in it and little finger, big finger groove thing on there. Uh, I couldn't figure out how to do it with my flat sanding disc. <laughs> so I didn't didn't try and ruin it. Um, I reground the the edge. I took the grinder flat on the bottom of the edge and tried to make it as straight as I could. Had a little wave in it, you know, up going going this way. Uh, it's pretty straight now. Um, I ground for about 20 minutes on this face right here to get rid of the round bevel. So now it goes down almost straight down off the blade. Hard to see here in the, the glare of it. And this is a Filipino knife so it has a knife on our edge on only on the right side because I'm right handed. Um, I, I ground it down flat this way to about an eighth of an inch away, you know, eighth, eighth of an inch down to make it as even as I could. And then as I was grinding down the, getting rid of the bevel, trying to make it as flat as I can, it's, it's from right here, from right here down, it's pretty much a straight edge, straight long bevel down to the uh, edge. Slightly round the edge, not bad though. Um, but I ground and ground and ground and ground until uh, it's very interesting using the sanding wheel is it doesn't get hot. Uh, I put it under the water once and it, as this, I touched it first, it wasn't even hot. But I, uh, so I'm not worrying about the temper of the knife, even though this has probably barely been tempered. It's been quenched as all when it was made. Um, But then I ground I ground it down until until I came up with a, a burr on the back side and I went the whole length till I got a nice even burr on it. Just a, no, it's not a burr. It just looks like it. Uh, I can see some little I can see some little nicks in the blade here. Teeny little teeny little nicks. That's because it's so thin. I think. But I kind of like the idea of a super thin edge. And again, I'm just going to use this for bushcraft stuff, making feather sticks, splitting wood, um, you know, anything I would use a belt knife for. And then every night when I get done with it, I'll take it in and I'll throw it on the buffer for the buffing wheel for 30 seconds. I don't even put compound on it anymore. I just put it on the wheel and run it back and forth maybe four times at the most. I like three times stiff and then once on the back side on the flat side and then three times real light on the front side and it usually brings it right back any, any of my blades right back, back to beyond a, a razor's edge. So I think it's ready for a uh, vinegar patina. The only thing I need to do yet to the to the handle is I had one, one void here in the end so I want to put a little glob of epoxy on that and sand that back down. But other than that, it actually turned out quite nice. So from right about here out is wood filled with epoxy. It has, just has a half inch tang on it going all the way through. Uh, if you remember, the, I'll show a picture of the knife before, before I started it so you can see what I'm talking about. And uh, the top is a pretty close to 90 degree spine. I got to check and see how it works on a ferro rod. If not, I'll, I'll readjust it. Um, still has some scratch marks in it from originally when it was made. I could probably grind all those out too, but it'd probably take about a week. The, the steel is pretty hard. Like again, it's been quenched. And uh, I think I think it's going to work out pretty nice. But it fits. Hand in. 
It fits my hand pretty well. Uh, the, the back end of the, the, the grip can be rounded off too, I guess. But it's real hard here because the, the wood is so hard and dense that you put the grinder to the end grain, it just burns it. So this is a little off right here, slightly off. But again, this is a working knife. This is a, a work in progress. Um, I don't think I'll ever be able to make show knives or anything like that. I don't have the right tools. Again, I'm using a right angle grinder and the flapper sanding disc. This one here is a, is an 80 grit. That's what I did the handle with and then redid the steel with. It's getting pretty flat again. By the time you do one blade, it's pretty clogged up and flat. So then it, it actually, you see it actually polished up the, the, uh, the blade pretty nice. It has some grinder scratches, which, which actually to me kind of look good. Now this one I could, I could also just jam this one into a, a banana tree because it's um, a good length to go in there. But I, I was thinking, and I'm seeing a little, in the light here, I'm seeing just a little bit of a flattish spot right here. Actually, it's a little lower than the, than the edge. So it could probably still use another couple hours of grinding to get this down perfect. The ideal thing, of course, would be to have a jig and have some sort of a stationary sander to run it across. Then, then it would be, it'd be sweet. And I got the tip just turned up just a little bit. This was once a cleaver. And uh, I've completely redone it. I, I like it. I, I, I think it's going to be a good knife. It's not a very long blade. Um, get my ruler out. I've got one of those little magnet things on the wall so I can keep all the stuff I need up close. So we have a edge of five and a quarter. So it's actually quite short. The, the entire blade itself is almost seven, but you're losing you're losing some here with this taper here. Again, that was part of the, the grinder. I had to, there's no way I could get away with that without having that on there. And plus, I wanted that to semi-match the, the end here. Um, the edge is far enough out that it will make it also a good uh, chopper. Uh, it's pretty hefty. Has a has a real nice feel to it. Let's go out here for the the big test. Here's the Donnie B test. Drops in pretty nice, I guess. I, I don't, not quite sure what the point of that is. I guess it's to show that the knife's halfway balanced. Okay. Sticks real nice. Cut my toes off here. I got my work boots on, you see. So it sticks real nice. Uh, it's a nice knife. It's gonna it's gonna be great. Get out here and I'm out here in the sun now. Or I it's actually overcast today. You can see a little better. Pretty decent. The, the handle turned out real nice. Now you see all the pins are real high in the wood. That's because that's where the steel's at. The steel's only the shank is only a uh, about a half inch wide there, three quarter inch wide at the third pin uh, towards the end. But it's fairly it's fairly even. I have a hard time keeping the the sides. the The right side's a little rounded, and the, and the left side's a little flatter because that goes into my palm and, and it's nicer for my fingers to be on the flat side. Uh, this is total, it's a total custom knife for me and again I'll be the one using it so that's all that really matters, right? So, take care everybody. Go outside, have some fun and hashtag 22 a day. Let's help out those vets and by all means be extra safe out there and watch your backs. Take care.
All right, so this is what I wound up with here. I took a piece of something close to 3 inch, 63 mm UPVC, whatever that is. Real thin walled. This is like a conduit or a drain pipe here. I'm not quite sure what. Um, this is this is the best sheath that I've made so far. This is I did a couple different things here. Um, I used a Dremel tool with a cutting wheel on it to make a couple cuts on it. I, I put the blade in there and squashed it down and then couldn't get the blade out because the you know the, the handle the handle's this thick and the blade was catching on here so I had to cut cut that out and made it pretty good. Um, let me see here, how can I do this? It's not not a real hard snapping or anything like that. The knife looks great though. And it fits in nice enough. Um, it doesn't come flying out. I've got two holes in the back here. I'm going to put a dangler on here. Whether I'll, I haven't decided whether to put on a um, cobra stitch bar across there, or just put a just a loop of string. It's probably what I'm going to start with, and uh, it'll just it'll just dangle from my my side. I'll have a Jethro Bodine style uh, string piece of. I don't know, uh, clothesline around my waist or whatever, or, or I could or I could hook it on my belt if I wanted to, I guess. But uh, turned out real nice. Now this right here, now you can sand this real good, rough it up, and then paint it also if you want to. I kind of like the orange to be easy to find when I drop it in the woods. Um, the big problem I have here with painting, anything that's plastic that I paint, and then another piece of plastic touches it, like a raincoat or something like that. There's some wild chemical reaction here in the air that it will just it will react, or or the quality of the plastic is so poor, like in the raincoats and stuff, that it there's a chemical reaction against paint and stuff like that. I've had it happen many times, but uh, I, I I like it. I think it's gonna be I think it's gonna be just right, and this is gonna be a fantastic uh, bushcraft knife. I'll do some tests with it to to show you how good it works. Uh, right now it's uh, beyond razor sharp. I still want to I still want to feather this back a little bit farther. Uh, I don't need to, but I think I'd like to. Uh, I got to figure out a way to get all the PVC dust out of here. Maybe I can just rinse it off and let it dry. Maybe I don't know. I don't have any air, and then I get to blow it out. So that's the that's the end product, guys. This is a. Uh, a knife made with rudimentary uh, materials or and, and uh, tools made basically with a, a right angle grinder and some glue and some PVC or some PVC for this and this was also uh, pretty primi primitively done but uh, I, I like it I, I really I really like the, the way it turned out and I think it's going to be a, a wonderful addition to my my work knives. In fact, this might be my new work knife completely. Uh, I got I actually got a feeling this is going to be the, the knife. So uh, the um, sheath could be cut off here at an angle, also because that's the angle of the blade. But I don't care whether it's square in the bottom. I think it just looks it looks neater this way, uh, tidier. So I'm just going to leave it the way it is. So that's it. So I got to take care, guys. Um, go outside, have some fun. Be safe and hashtag 22 a day. Uh, watch your backs, guys. Take care.